Okay, guys, uh, today, uh, this next video, it's called Challenged Mouse Movement Mania. Again, this is part of Khan Academy's JavaScript Animations uh, Unit. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to take a look here at the directions and then some of the hints over here to the right and see what's going on. So um, as you guys can see right now over here in our canvas, just from the code that we have, uh, we have this like little colorful mouse tracker here. So it says this program paints colorful shapes on the screen whenever the user mouse moves and you're going to change it up. First change the fill function call so that the circles become a different color. Remember you can use mouse X and mouse Y as the parameters to create a variety of colors. Remember our mouse X, mouse Y, uh, they are already pre-created uh, variables uh, that are used here in our Khan Academy JavaScript. So, um, what we're looking at here, you guys can see up here at the top, we don't have a stroke on here, so no outline. And we have our draw equals function, which is going to run this code inside of the curly braces, open curly brace and close curly brace, uh, forever and ever and ever. So what they're looking for us to do here is change the fill. All right, so right now we just have a mouse X on here. So they want us to add uh, some mouse Y, maybe another mouse X. So let's do that real quick. Maybe I'll put another mouse X. And then maybe on the last one, maybe I'll change it for mouse Y. Let's see what it does here. So now you guys can see our colors changing around as we move through the canvas. Remember, all mouse X is, it's taking the location of the X. Again, that's left to right on our canvas. And mouse Y is taking the location on the Y that is top to bottom. Okay, so let's go to our next step. Now we're on step two or three. It says now change the ellipse function call somehow. It says you can make the ellipse a different size or you can make them change shape by using uh, the mouse X, mouse Y as the parameters. Okay, so we already put the uh, mouse X, mouse Y for a fill. We obviously have our ellipse going through locations of mouse X and mouse Y. So now what they want you to do is change the size. So this is the width. All right, so maybe I'll say mouse X. All right, and let's say maybe I can use the mouse Y for this one. Just so you guys can see what's going on. Whoa, looks kind of crazy. All right, so that's what they want you to do for this one. Great, you hit your next step. And now our step three of three, let's finish this off. It says now add a stroke color to the ellipse. Remove the no stroke call and call stroke inside the draw function. Okay, so the first thing they want us to do, let's uh, get rid of this no stroke up here at the top. All right, and what they want us to do is put a stroke on here. So I'm gonna say stroke, and I'm gonna put it in there with our mouse X, mouse Y. So let's see what happens here. Just make it uh, look pretty cool, mouse. X comma mouse, we'll say Y, and then maybe another mouse uh, Y here. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, so now you can see my stroke color change for all of my ellipse functions. So that's all that one, that's all that this mouse movement is, is just uh, replacing values with a mouse X, mouse Y uh, preset variables. So hopefully that makes sense and uh, and it clarifies the instructions here for this one. Let me know if you have any questions. Alrighty guys, take care.